Hey guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and today I'm gonna show you some quilts I've made over the years for my kids. I have four kids, I have one daughter, two twin sons, and then another son that's just a tiny bit younger. And I've just made quilts for them over the years. My oldest is now 15. So we're just gonna run through some quilts I've made over the years, and maybe this will inspire you to make something for someone in your life. The first two quilts I'm going to show you are the Check Me Out pattern by It's So Emma, and I made these quilts probably 12 years ago, and um, it's just a very easy pattern, and at one time there was Cookie Monster fabric, and my son Will loved Big Bird, so um, I made this one for him, and he used it for years and years, and this is probably the only quilt I've ever used any kind of colored thread for. And he still uses this one to this day. And his twin, I'm gonna show you the one I made at the same time for his twin, Peyton. So I made this quilt for Peyton. It's Skylanders, which was a thing at the time. I'm not even sure if it still exists or if he's even into it. I don't even know if it was a game or a cartoon. I just know he loved it. So um, these quilts have been washed and washed and washed and used for years and years. And it's a very simple pattern. Um, you could use it with anything, and you can see how I've done that by just using two different novelty type groups. So this next quilt is called Peyton at Play. Peyton is uh, one of my twins. Um, you'll notice my kids' names and lots of things that I do um, with the company. But at the time, Peyton loved dinosaurs. He's now 12 and he still loves dinosaurs and this collection came out it was called urban zoology some of the prints are still in print even 11 years later but um i made this one for him and um, i used dark thread on the back white thread on the front and i made his sister a quilt at the same time and i'll show you that one so after I made this one, Emma, who's my oldest daughter, she loved it. So I made her this one, and this uh, collection was one of the very first collections that Riley Blake did. Um, they were a newer company when I made this, and I remember the collection was named Seaside, and my daughter really liked the colors, so I made her one. This next quilt is totally fun, and this, if you look at this, this center part is just a panel, and a panel is a great way to showcase something that kids love. And this is a discontinued pattern now, but my twins at the time both loved Minions, so they shared this quilt for years, and we quilted it in a bright yellow thread with circles, and there are lots of panel patterns out there where you can just add a border. This one's now discontinued, but um, my kids do still love Minions. And um, we haven't designed a panel quilt in a while, so if you are interested in something like that, just comment and let us know what your favorite panel is and we can look into it. This next quilt is a Minecraft quilt and it's a pixelated quilt, very easy to make because it's all squares and rectangles. It's a free pattern designed by Kelly Fannin Quilts. And when she started this sew along, I sewed along with her at the same exact time. And basically she picked some Bella solids for Fat Quarter Shop to make a bundle. We made a bundle and then I had my son, Peyton, place the fabrics where they went in the quilt and this Minecraft print was made by Michael Miller years ago, and I put that on the border, and I did just put a Bella solid on the back, and this one, uh, Peyton used on his bed. It fit a twin size bed, and he used it for a couple of years, and he uses a different one now that I'll show in a little bit. So on the back of the quilt, I use the Moda Spell It With Fabric book. It's a PDF pattern. It's completely free, and I basically just made his name with letters, connected them with sashing in between, and then added fabric to the top and the bottom so he'll always know it was his quilt. So this next pattern is uh, all aboard. It was designed by Sarah and she designed it for Christopher's room. So in all these quilts, you're gonna see what I decorated my kids' rooms with when they went from crib to a twin bed. So this was a Moda collection by Angela Yostin and it was a very uh, basic group and um, 
Christopher had this in his room for years and the pattern has a pattern for the twin size and he also has something that you can use to hang up behind the bed or you could use it as a table runner, either one. So this quilt, I actually made two very similar quilts. They were both for Emma, and we did link to a blog post that showed her room when she went from a crib bed to a toddler. And both quilts were designed by Suzanne O'Neill of Design Originals, and that, that book that it came from is long gone. It was discontinued years ago. But this collection is one of Bonnie and Camille's first collections. And I can't remember all the details, but I remember I made the quilt twice. One of the quilts is using regular batting. One of the quilts has wool batting in it. And I even made matching pillowcases that are now long gone. I don't know what happened to them. But she used this quilt for years and years. And I honestly can't remember exactly why I made two different versions. But obviously I did. She's now 15. So this quilt is probably 12 years old. This next quilt um, is really fun. Brings back a lot of memories. Around 2009, 2010, Robert Kaufman started making fabric um, with the Dr. Seuss license. And of course, all kids love Dr. Seuss. So we designed the Magical Cat in the Hat quilt. And it's beautiful and it's just not very big. So I made this and my kids used it. And then a couple years later, I basically just converted it into a twin and there was one made for Peyton and one made for Will and you can see from the pictures I made the panels face a certain way and they look great and so I just enlarged this quilt and I always make these pillows for my kids there's probably at least 20 in my house this is called the pack and pillow and there was a couple of these and they matched this and there was also, um, I had made this one for Emma. So just as an example of just, it's fun to make little pillows to go along with your quilts. So this next quilt is also designed by Kelly Fannin and um, it's a free pattern on her blog. And when she announced it, my son Will loves Harry Potter. So while Peyton had the Minecraft quilt on his bed, I was sewing this one. And I used all Bella solids for this one and um, they use this on their beds uh, for a couple of years and currently will still has this one on his bed and he loves it and he can't wait for me to bring it home so this next quilt is designed by elizabeth hartman it came out about two years ago and i made this at the end of last year it was one of my christmas gifts to peyton and this quilt had a lot of love put into it. It's so fun. And I did place my blocks in the wrong spot and didn't realize it until the end, but I love the way it came out. And um, so right now Peyton uses this one on his bed and then Will has the Harry Potter on his bed. Now Christopher doesn't have a quilt on his bed because he doesn't sleep in his bed. And Emma doesn't have a quilt on her bed because she cannot decide what color she wants to do her room and she keeps changing it. So when she finally fixes the color that she wants, I will make her a quilt in that color. But it's interesting how as they get older, some really love having quilts on their beds and then some like have no interest at all. But this one was a lot of fun to make because like I said before, Peyton has always loved dinosaurs. On this quilt, I did put a, a Shannon wide fabric on the back and that was a lot of fun to put on the back of this quilt. This next quilt is called Hunter. It's named after my nephew Hunter, and we published a book called Fat Quarter Baby, and it has 10 girl quilts, 10 boy quilts, and all of these names are somebody either in my family or someone really close to me. And this one was just a lot of fun. It's small, it's a great crib quilt. I had so much fun showing you all these quilts I've made over the years for my kids. Um, they're starting to get older, so I'll be transitioning from smaller quilts into dorm size quilts. So I can't wait for that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time.